Hi and welcome to this new tutorial and today we are going to try to reproduce this effect that I saw passing on Motion Designer Community which is to create a reaction diffusion effect over a 3D model to change the textures and way light is reflected and so on and so we are going to try to um, redo this effect that I just did so uh, diffusion reaction uh, pattern over a 3D model so let's start and create a new composition. We'll put that in pause for now. Okay, Control N. Let's put a HD resolution with the camera because we are going to use a 3D model. Okay, so now let's first start to create the reaction diffusion effect that we will use as a textures. So to do that, I'm going to create a composition that I'm going to rename reaction diffusion. And I will create a little noise inside of it. So noise, 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 noise. Where it is uh, noise here. Okay. In this composition, I will say no alpha layer. This will be important for the next part of the tutorial. So don't forget to not put an alpha layer into your reaction diffusion for now. So let's put a mask. So let's put a simple placement mask. Okay, and this uh, placement mask will be uh, used to start our reaction diffusion because we need something to start the reaction. So let's create the reaction diffusion. To do that, we will use a um, feedback modifier. And inside this feedback modifier, we can put the feedback level at 100% and the source level at a little bit less. And let's add inside this feedback modifier a blur uh, modifier and let's put that at uh, like five pixels. Duplicate this modifier, control D, and put this one at um, like 10 pixels, okay? And we are going to put this blur, uh, this second blur in a blended mode, which uh, will be subtract, this one. And now we will just add a little exposure, so color exposure, and on this exposure, put the exposure at the maximum, and reduce a little bit the gamma. Okay. And now if you all start the reaction diffusion, you see that what is happening is, well, it's creating the reaction diffusion effect. Mm. So next we can do um, a lot of fine tuning over this reaction diffusion effect, uh, mainly by changing uh, the shape of the blur. For instance, let's put a box on the second blur and you see something is happening and the size of the first blur versus the size of the second blur. And I leave you play with that uh, at home. And uh, more the blur is small and more the reaction uh, will be slow to progress. So better to have a high resolution texture <coughs> and slow small Gaussian blur. And because this feedback effect is a um, dynamic uh, modifier. So uh, it's not so easy to, um, to trick. Let's put a larger reaction diffusion. You see already it's accelerating if I put a larger, larger blur. Okay, now we have our reaction diffusion. So let's uh, share this element. Uh, and let's save this composition and call that um, reaction diffusion texture. So if I have a crash, I will not have to start uh, from the beginning. Now let's import uh, the geometry. So this is this mannequin.obg. So I just drag and drop and import it as reference geometry. And here it is, uh, nice and shiny. So for those who want in the um, description on the, uh, of the video, I will put a link uh, to let you download this uh, composition. And then you will, uh, you can uh, get back this mannequin.obg if you want to start uh, this tutorial with the same uh, things. So this mannequin.obg contain a physically based renderer. So let's do a control shift A to duplicate the renderer. And I do that only to uh, display it on the elementary. So here there's no difference, just I duplicate it. And here PBL require, require a linear workflow, so it says. So let's put everything into uh, linear. So I will put my 3D model into a compo that I will call 3D. All right, and this composition I will put in linear. 
indexes. Okay. Now I will use a default uh, a preset of the of the mannequin, which will be uh, gold imperfect. So I already have some kind of nice rendering, and let's add a little point light here. Okay, where it is? Let's go in 3D mode. Okay, it's here. Let's put that on the torso. Okay, that's nice. And now I will uh, first uh, change the normal, uh, put the, my reaction diffusion effect uh, as normal map, so this uh, texture uh, in the normal map uh, of the PBR uh, renderer. So let's put that into layer and let's just do an alt drag and drop here. Okay. So now you see something is happening, but my normal are not. Let's restart the reaction diffusion process. Does it work? Yeah, it works. And where is it starting from? It's starting from somewhere here. And you see that my normal map is not doing the, the effect that we want because right now my normal map is in black and white and I want to have normal map color. So to do that over this map, I will use a utility modifier, which is def to normal. Okay, and now I have a regular normal uh, normal map, and this should now work. Okay, let's just augment a little bit the size of the normal map. Okay, one thing done. Let's do the same thing from the for the metallic uh, part. So alt drag and drop. Okay. Now I have my metallic uh, stuff only on this uh, this reflection only on my uh, reaction diffusion part, and inside the albedo, which is currently the texture, the diffuse texture. Uh, right now it's this uh, gradient, this noise gradient. So I will duplicate it. Ah, I will first put a composition, uh, make a composition of my texture. So Control Shift C. Okay, and now I will duplicate this uh, texture so this texture will be uh, let's call it base and this base texture will be a uh, regular gradient so in black and white so let's put that in gray and let's put that in white and this second world will be the gold okay and over the gold i will put a mask a layer mask and I will put the reaction diffusion inside of it with alt drag and drop. And there you have it. And then let's check what it's look like. No. And let's restart the reaction diffusion process. Ah. So now my reaction diffusion process is uh, beginning in this part of the body. So I will try to find the spot on my UV map uh, to make it start here on this part. So let's just put a full white. Let's deactivate the feedback. And let's put a full white in my shared texture. So uniform, okay, and put this uniform in white. And now I will just reduce my uniform and move it around. Okay. And now that's more or less the starting point that I want. So let's check the texture. So it's, it's here in the UV map I want to start. So we'll just take my perna noise and move it. Okay, not this parameter, this parameter and move it around to make it start right here. Deactivate the uniform because I don't need it and restart the reaction diffusion process. Okay, and now here you have it, uh, reaction diffusion. So let's maybe trigger that a little bit, a little higher. And let's try to put the normal map a little bit bigger. And let's try to put also this same map into the occlusion. So layer and alt drag and drop of the reaction diffusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe that's a little bit over the top uh, because my map, my occlusion map is in full black and white. So let's put a little uh, colorize modifier 
and let's put that into a bitone, a bitone, and let's say the black is a little less black. Okay, that's nice. Then you can do a lot of 2D compositing to make this effect look better. Like for instance, let's put a little uh, blur, uh, 2D blur, and use a small glow. Okay. Okay. Okay, just to put a little glow over it and restart the reaction diffusion process. Okay, and then to resume, I have one uh, single um, reaction uh, reaction diffusion texture, which is scattered into my uh, my material into different uh, adjustments using the same texture as mask or as texture. So. In the normal map, I change my uh, reaction diffusion pattern into a normal map uh, layer. Um, into the metallic, I use as it is. Uh, in the albedo texture, I use a mask to display uh, one uh, black and white texture or a gold uh, texture. And finally, in the occlusion, I use the same uh, map, but with a gray instead of uh, black using the colorize modifier. Tuck, 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 tuck. And then you have it, and just let's try to put a last light, uh, which is the environment light. Okay, and we will not render the skybox. Puff, and reduce a little bit this, reduce a little bit the blur. Okay, and on the 3D, let's put a little. Uh, Okay, and this should be all right. Let's just see. Yeah, you see, we have some uh, like uh, aliasing effect that should be because uh, my map are all in 8 bit instead of being in 16 bit. So let's put everything into 16 bit. Mm. Mm. Yeah, well. But there you have it, and uh, as always, if you want. Uh, me to reproduce some effect, uh, just ask, just ask, um, but there you have it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time. Puff, save.